Hello and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine and I'm so happy to have you here. I'm going to do a real quick video today, not so much a tutorial, just going over a few things uh, as far as my geodes go, my technique, as well as some business to discuss. Um, this piece is done on a 16 inch a birch board that we cut ourselves, my husband and I. I primed it twice with two coats of white gesso and then I sanded it down. Created a nice non-porous surface. I came in with my epoxy sculpt. If you want to see how I make the boundaries and barriers with epoxy sculpt, uh, you can click the lowercase i in the upper right hand corner now and it will take you to videos of how I create those barriers and boundaries. And once those were in place, I painted my board. I laid in some real chrysocolla stones, some silver vase filler stones that I found at Hobby Lobby, and the blue clear crystals there in the middle are also vase fillers that I found at Hobby Lobby. The tealish green um, stones that I'm laying in now, I was doing this to see if I wanted that color in that spot. I needed to see visually if that's what I wanted there. Uh, those stones I also get at Michael's. And I will um, come in here in a second and do a time lapse of putting those stones in with my hot glue. And any and all of the products that I use, um, you can find links in the description. Sometimes the stuff at Michael's that I get, I cannot find online, so I don't link that or like the Hobby Lobby stuff. But um, I am an Amazon affiliate, so anything that you click on uh, through Amazon or through my Amazon store, I do get a little kickback and it helps to support my channel. Um, and so it, that's just very much appreciated because it, it makes it possible for me to keep buying tools and products so that I can keep creating my videos. This is a time lapse of another piece. It was a custom piece that I did sort of in tandem with this other one. Um, and because for some reason my footage of this piece I'm showing you today, I lost all of the footage of me laying the resin in. I have two little ones. This is part of like my mom's struggle with my iPad that I use to record stuff. Um, sometimes my girls get a hold of it and I lose footage. And um, as you can probably imagine, I was devastated when I realized I had no footage of me laying the resin in on this piece, but I will include the rest of the footage as I'm doing here. Um, I did use Pro Marine resin in this piece, which you can find a link to them down below. I, do, I really do like Pro Marine. I use pretty much only Pro Marine and Stone Coat. Uh, really happy with the quality of both of those products. It just kind of depends on the piece as to why I choose a certain type of resin. I have my respirator on. I really, really, really encourage you to always be safe and use a respirator and use nitrile gloves uh, to keep your skin safe from the resin. And I'm coming around with my heat gun, which you can also find in the description and in my Amazon store. I love this heat gun. It has two different settings. And also when you turn it off, it has a self-cooling system. It cools itself down for a minute. And I'm just coming around my edge here. Um, I had come in and pulled that tape off at about three hours. Uh, using the Promarine, it does start to get pretty hard on you after that point, so you want to come in around that two to three hour mark. And I'm just coming around to soften the edges so that that resin will gently go over the sides of my board because I wanted that look to continue around the sides of the piece. This was a little bit time consuming because it was pretty thick, the resin was pretty thick at this point, and I really had to. Um, loosen it up and then once it is nice and drippy um, I will come around with my finger and rub it around make sure things are nice and blended. One other thing I did want to discuss in this video is more other ways you can support my channel just by watching and hitting the like or the or the thumbs down button, um, leaving a comment all helps my videos um, to be seen out there in the public. I'm so happy for how many subscribers I have and you guys coming over on Instagram and following me there. I just appreciate that so much, so I want to say thank you to you all for watching. Another way you can support my channel is to become a patron of mine. My Patreon link is down below. Um, I have different tiers of giving from $1 all the way up to $20. That is a monthly donation and with each tier there are different benefits or rewards. The $5 and up tier, you will receive one to two bonus videos a month over on my Patreon um, for different videos that I do. It's just bonus content that I will not feature in my YouTube videos that's just for my patrons. If you don't want to do a monthly donation but you do want to help support my channel, I do have a PayPal tip jar where you can do a one-time donation. 
and depending on the amount of the donation I will um, also send you those bonus videos via email so that is an option for you as well and you will still get benefits uh, just from doing that so I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support out there it means the world to me it's been able to keep me going on this channel now for coming up on two years um, and I just I greatly appreciate it and it, it fills me with gratitude to see people showing their appreciation um, for something that I love to do and I, I love to bring this to you all. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, and to get back to the video, I'm coming in with that silver gilding paint that I found at Michael's and just adding some accents, uh, breaking up these sections a little bit, using my Uni Posca markers um, to add some more definition and some lines. I'm gonna link down below all of the blues that I used. I didn't really go over them in this video, but um, I used some just gorgeous blues from Lorez. Um, one of my favorite products by them right now is this mermaid uh, mica pigment that they have. It is just so shimmery. It, it's almost like a glitter, but it's not. It's just so shimmery and beautiful, and it just looked amazing in this piece. So again, I will link all the colors down below that I used. Um, and I have a discount code at Laura's Art Corner if you want to check that out. Uh, definitely check out Pro Marine if you haven't yet. Thank you again so much for watching and for listening to me blabber on. Um, I appreciate it so much, you guys. And until next time, keep on pouring.